Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. A couple days ago, I released a YouTube short about the Unify augmented reality, and I had a few questions from people on how to set it up. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do this. This won't be an overly long video as it's fairly easy to set up, but I will tell you the reasons why it is a useful tool. Now, as far as I know, augmented reality only works for iPhones. I don't believe it's available for Android yet. I don't have an Android, I'm not an Android user, so if you are an Android user, let me know if it works for you. Augmented reality doesn't work with every single Ubiquiti switch or firewall. We need to have the LCM on it. Any of the Gen 1 switches, it won't work with. If we click on the switch aggregation and then we look under the specs, we could see that it has LCM color touchscreen with AR switch management. So that's what you need to look for if you want to have a switch that has the augmented reality feature. Looking at the Gen 2 switches that have the LCM on it, pretty well everyone supports the AR. I'm not too sure if the MVR Pro does because it does have the LCM, but we will check that out. As this is based on your iPhone and my rack is downstairs, I'm gonna take some footage from my iPhone and then explain what I'm doing. I'll take the camera downstairs and tell you why this augmented reality feature is quite useful. Now we're down at my network rack, which some of you have seen before. And as you could tell on my patch panels, they aren't labeled. Even though I stress to everybody to label your patch panels, I have yet to do so. So where the augmented reality really comes in handy is if you don't have labels on your patch panel telling you what's connected, we could scan the LCM and then it will tell us on the augmented reality what's connected to these ports. If it's a unify access point, a unify switch, or a protect camera. It will also show us some other devices. I believe my Synology NAS does show up. So now we need to go to my phone and then get the AR started to be able to scan. So first to start off to get the augmented reality working, we could see I'm on my iPhone right now and here we have the AR. We need to click that AR button to initialize it. Now this next part is to calibrate. So we need to scan our network rack so that the AR projection is locked in place to the correct switches. After doing the calibration, we need to scan the AR pattern within our LCM and we could see me doing it here. Once we do the scanning, it will pop up with the augmented reality for our switches as you'll see. Now you can see the augmented reality for my enterprise, my UDM SE and my aggregation switch. The first one we're gonna start off with is my USW Enterprise 24 PoE. We can see I have a U6 Enterprise and then a G3 Flex connected to port two and three. If we move on, I have another G3 Flex connected to port six. We have a G4 Bullet, then we have a USW Lite PoE, a USW Flex, U6 Inwall, Mission Critical, PDU Pro, and my Synology NAS and computer. We also see the uplink to the USW Pro aggregation. Next up is my USW aggregation switch, which there really isn't much on, but we'll take a look. You can see it shows us the IP address of the switch, and then we'll scroll across and we can see those 10 gigabit ports. I have my Mac Telecom NVR plugged in, as you can see by these white letterings, kind of hard to tell, but if we move across, we'll see the uplink to my UDM SE, which is up here and then down to my Enterprise 24 PoE. The last one we're looking at is the UDM SE, which doesn't really have anything on it at all. We scroll across, we have the RPS, and then we have some uplinks to my Aggregation Pro switch. So that really becomes useful for troubleshooting if you don't have things documented properly. If you're going to a new site for the first time and they have Ubiquiti switches, this is a good way to do it. As for the UNVR Pro, it doesn't have the augmented reality because we wouldn't be seeing the cameras there anyway. We'd be seeing those on one of our switches. Let me know what you think about augmented reality in the comments below. If you liked this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.